Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. Today I'm going to go over my top five website resources for Unified that I think everyone should know about. Most of these resources I use every day and I think it would be helpful for others to be able to use. So let's jump right into it. The first website is unified.ui.com. I'm in this every single day. If you're managing any of your customers and you need to do it remotely, this is the way to do it. We could group our applications by sites. You could see that I have my site set up here. It's under the Mac Telecom. If I was to hit this drop down menu, you would see all of my different clients and they'd have their consoles grouped together. So we have my 2024, which is my UDM Pro. We have one of my customers, which we're working on that co-working space. And I'll be doing a future video on that. We have my UMVR. And then we have my EFG. This just consolidates everything nicely together and makes it so much easier to manage. But unify.ui.com, we could do so much more. One of the best features with unify.ui.com is our site magic, where we could easily create VPNs for site to site VPNs. We need to at least have one public address and then we could connect up to 15 sites. And this will be expanding in the future. I believe in EA right now, we could do 20. Something new within unify.ui.com is the ISP viewer. So we have my 2024 console, we have WAN 1 and WAN 2, and then we have this co-working space. What this is showing us right now is the average latency. So you could see the average latency, 11 milliseconds on my Rogers, and then three on my Bell. We could also look over this and see the statistics by the time range. Right now, this is set to a week, but we could also do it to a month but it hasn't pulled all that traffic data yet. We'll go back to one month and then we could look at our packet loss. So we currently have zero packet loss on both my WAN 1 and WAN 2 and that co-working space, which is great. And then we could look at the uptime, which is at 100%. We could also take a look at by just the ISP. So we have two different ISPs here. We have Bell and Rogers, and it's gonna show them in different colors. Bell will be in the blue, and then Rogers would be in the purple, but seeing as they're both 100% uptime, we're not going to see that fluctuation in the graph. But I think this is really good for troubleshooting to see if you're having any latency or packet loss within your business. Next up is Update Manager within unify.ui.com, which is very great to see. So now we could push out updates to all of our sites and you could do it by the device application or the Unify OS. So on this status side, you could see that we have 33 devices that need to be updated. We could just click this one button and it's going to update all 33 devices. A lot of this will be blurred out for obvious reasons, but you can see that status there. If we click on applications, you're going to see that 10 network sites have updates that we need to be pushing out. And then if we look under the Unify OS and then under Unify OS, we have three different sites that we need to push out. If we look back under devices and we go over to our right, this is going to show us what's connected under our unify.ui.com. So we have 1,310 devices, 662 of those are access points, 542 are protect cameras. We have 55 access readers, 45 phones, and six connect devices. So this makes it so much easier for businesses or MSPs to be able to push out updates instead of going through each one manually. The next useful website is design.ui.com and this really helps us plan out of our deployment. This is the co-working space that we're gonna be working with and doing a video on. And you can see that I laid out the APs and it's showing me my Wi-Fi coverage. We also have my cameras so we could take a look, click on cameras and that's gonna show us our camera coverage. Right now I only have the one AI360 put in there but we have about 15 cameras that are going on this floor. What we could do with this, we draw in all of our walls and then we place our access points where we think they should go. We could also place in things like network cabling. We could place our unified talk phones or any unified devices. And this really does help with planning our Wi-Fi networks and what switches and firewalls we're gonna need. We could also click on the left-hand side and we could see an equipment list that we're gonna have to purchase. So with everything on the floor plan that we've already put in, we could check out and it's saying this is gonna cost us 18,211 and 73 cents. So if this is what we wanted, we just click check out and it will bring us into the store, which is really nice. I do have a full video on Design Center and I'll put that in the description below. A new thing within design.ui.com is the Unify GPT. It says, hi, welcome to Unify GPT. I'm your Unify expert here to assist you. What can I help you with today? And I could type in something, how many access points points do I need for 
2,000 square foot home. And I typed in hot there. Hopefully it does realize what I was trying to put. Now, Unified GPT spit out for a 2,000 square foot area, you will likely need two to three access points, and it shows us which ones they would like you to buy, which is really nice if you're just starting out within Ubiquity. The next website is techspecs.ui.com, and this does show us quite a bit. We could click on whatever device we want and get the technical specifications for it. So let's click on the Dream Machine Pro Max. Now, this is going to tell us everything from the dimensions and weight to the hardware processing, network interfaces, IDS and IPS throughput. So if you're ever curious about a device, you could come right to this website. But also it's gonna show you what comes in the box and then marketing images. I get asked this quite a bit where I get the images that I use in my topologies and it's from techspecs.ui.com. I just download the PNG images and then load it into my software. But they also have all the installation guides for it. So any device that you're looking for for the installation guide is under this website. Now you could also do a compare feature on the main page. If we click on compare, it's gonna show us all the differences between the EFG, UDM Pro Max, the UDM SE, and the UDM Pro. So that way we can make a decision based on the hardware that we need. This next website I've shown quite a bit before is calculator.ui.com and this is a capacity calculator. Right now we only have the UDM Pro Max, UDM Pro and SE, the UMBR, UMBR Pro, and then we have the Cloud Key Gen 2 Plus, UDW, and UDR. I would assume that they're going to be adding things like the Cloud Gateway Max, as well as the EFG to this page. But what we could do, we could click on the UDM Pro Max, and we could see our compute resources right now, and they're currently at 5%. So say we have 10 different access points on this site, that brings our compute resources up to 9%, and say we have our security detections on. We also want ad blocking and quality of service. So every little thing that we turn on is going to bring up our compute resources. Now at this specific site, we're going to have protect, we're going to have talk, and we're going to have access. So we're going to say have, we're going to have seven different cameras on this network, and then we're going to have 10 different phones. With that, we have 10 different doors as well. So you can see we are well underutilized for the UDM Pro Max, and that's what we would need for this specific site. But this really does help plan out what you need for hardware if you need the Pro Max or if you need one of their other Unify consoles. And the last website we're going to take a look at today is help.ui.com and this could do so much for us. If you need to learn a specific thing within Ubiquity, you could find it here. We could see that we have some trending articles, Unify Site Manager, selecting your Unify equipment, activate the UCI, as well how to set up Unify. There are also some advanced articles that we could look at, and then we have guides and articles by category. So if we want to look at, say, Unify Network, we could click on this. Now under the Unify Network Help articles, we have features and configurations where we could see the access control list, the ACL rules, best practices for guest Wi-Fi, or if we look down in the advanced, we had adding SSH keys, adopt layer three access points with their zero touch provisioning. So if you need to learn something about Ubiquity, whether it be for Unify Network, Protect, Talk, or Access, you could find that all here. We also do have the community pages. If you're ever having difficulty with Ubiquity and you need to ask a question, you could make a post up top. These are all the posts that people have put in. This all goes under certain sections. So we have the posts for our network, Protect, Store Access, Talk, Connect, Unify Identity, and then Unify Play. We also have Mobility, UISP, UISP Wireless, UISP Wired, Amplify. So if you ever have a question, make a post here and somebody will answer it or maybe a Ubiquity employee will answer it as well. Now there's a few other things that we could do for this. We could go to the professional support. So if you're looking to buy Ubiquity professional support, that's where you would find it. We could also look at our RMA and our warranty. So if you need to RMA something, this will bring you to that site. We could also look at our downloads and this will be where we could download our mobile apps or different firmware. Now that's gonna be it for the top five Unify Network websites that I use in my daily routine. I pretty much go to these every single day. Let me know down in the comments below if you use anything other than this that I need to check out. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.